Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Ted. This is the Black Pearl and you're watching the uh, Black Pearl Voyager channel. And I uh, wanted to talk to you today about some of the mods that I've done to the front of this 2020 Gladiator. In particular, this Rugged Ridge uh, Venator bumper. So, hang in there with me. We're going to be talking about this bumper a lot and uh, why I chose it. And then we'll be talking about the LED upgrades that I've done in the headlights and a little, uh, a little bit of work that I've done on the grill. So I appreciate you uh, tuning in today and I hope you enjoy this video. So this is the uh, Rugged Ridge Venator bumper and this is not like your ordinary bumper. This is not a cut, fold, weld style of bumper. Um, this is actually harder to do um, because uh, they take um, uh, really heavy duty metal and actually stamp it. Uh, the main advantage here is that uh, your design can be just about anything you can imagine and you're not uh, forced to uh, to have uh, the uh, hard lines of the cut fold weld type of bumper. But don't let that fool you. Uh, this is rock solid. Um, these metal pieces admittedly are thinner and they don't advise you uh, using this as a rock crawling bumper because if you were to uh, catch this on a rock or something you're liable to damage it more heavily than you would a cut fold weld style bumper. The difference is I think that if anything were to happen to these um, flares here or any of these other metal parts and this is about an eighth inch thick or so or three sixteenths whatever it is um, you could replace it I'm sure you could buy this piece separately uh, I'm sure you can buy this piece separately these plastic lenses uh, lens housings uh, that I color matched or I'm not sure about yet I've heard uh, some people complain that they will uh, fall out of there if you uh, drive it off-road I haven't had any issues with that so far what attracted me most to this bumper is the fact that I'm building an overland rig and uh, I wanted something with some style <laughs> you know uh, the cut fold weld bumpers are nice but uh, you can't make them look like this and uh, I love the, um, uh, the fact that it's uh, two-toned and um, these are extremely heavy this has got to be an inch thick uh, with two different size shackle holes and this portion and the worn or the winch mount are rock solid steel and they are solidly mounted to the frame where the stock bumper would go so you actually assemble that and then you assemble these panels around it to get the final look now this brush guard here was um, is an option uh, they really, uh, this was actually designed for the Jeep Wrangler or the Gladiator in that they put these nice, uh, this nice feature in here, uh, these little uh, valleys here where the, the uh, grill goes. So it kind of ties things together. Uh, you can ignore the uh, GoPro mount there. Uh, that's something I use uh, when I'm off-roading, uh, shooting videos of uh, our trips. Uh, this is the uh, Warren VR10. Uh, it's in there really good. The only thing I really didn't like about this bumper was the install. Uh, you pretty much have to assemble it completely loose and then go through and hit all the nuts and bolts and tighten everything up. Uh, one of the mistakes I made was is that uh, I got this all put together and then I wanted to uh, wind my, um, my fiber or my uh, synthetic winch line on there and I couldn't do it and I had to remove this piece here after removing this and this is a real son of a gun to take off because it's only hold on by two bolts but they are really in there and you've got about a quarter of a wrench throw on each of those and so it takes a good long while to get those bolts in or out so 
that was uh, really the only issue I had with uh, with this bumper was uh, after getting it all together and then trying to put um, some synthetic line on there I had to remove this and it was just a real pain in the butt to do that but I did get my factor 55 a fair lead on there and a nice 50 uh, factor 55 um, lead on there and um, unfortunately this um, license plate thing here that's made by Rugged Ridge I think it was designed for a hook and so the thicker factor factor 55 dealie here won't allow me to actually put that down into position but that's not uh, that's not really an, an issue for me not a big deal at all um, in Oregon you have to have a front plate but well I could do I could live without one anyway so um, yeah I like the bumper it is heavy duty it's not as heavy duty as your cut fold weld bumper and like I said if you're a serious rock crawler you might not want to consider this but man look at that I mean that really sets off the look of the Jeep um, and I like it a lot like I said I'm not sure about these plastic uh, bezels here although I did uh, I did uh, I didn't color match them. I actually contrasted it. Uh, as you had noticed, uh, I've gone with the black on blue theme here. And uh, so one of the things I did was I took these, removed these from the grill completely out, prepped them, and uh, painted them uh, with, uh, with my blue theme. And uh, I think that really went well. I'm not sold on the, on the blue um, the fog light bezels, but... Um, and that's where we're at now they're easy to take off some people run with them off um, and uh, they seem to like that look I haven't tried that yet I may do that in the future so one of the other things I did um, was on the headlights those are upgraded to LEDs now I the first thing I was going to do was take the uh, KC highlights uh, gravity lights that I had on my JK and just swap them out for these uh, that's a no-go uh, you can't that's not a seven or six inch round it's not a seven inch round headlight that is uh, a one-piece housing that has the lens and everything in it and I kind of would have hated to miss that cool Jeep Easter egg there on there so I did some research on headlight revolution and come to find out if you uh, watch their videos about the Jeep uh, JT headlights uh, Jeep finally got these right as far as the beam pattern now putting halogens in there you have the same problem with the yellowish light and they're not real good but the beam pattern is excellent and so if all I had to do was upgrade those to LEDs and I'll tell you about the LEDs that I swapped out now headlight revolution uh, did a review of these uh, s v.4 replacement LEDs for the halogens in the uh, sorry about that Jeep gladiator JT now these are not the inexpensive supernova lights that you find on Amazon or eBay these are maybe twice the price but they're a completely different animal and um, these come with their own um, resistor box on it or um, I forget what they call those anyway anti flicker and these actually have um, fans uh, cooling fans and believe it or not they will uh, fit within that uh, within that housing, and man, what an what an upgrade! Uh, beautiful bright white lights, and an excellent beam pattern because these were actually designed to replace the bulbs in uh, this style of light. I think it's an H13. Let me see what that was. Yes, these are H13. It says here. Um, 
And uh, what uh, Headright Revolution has done is uh, they have uh, placed the LEDs in exactly the right spot uh, in the housing uh, that the halogen filament would be. And so it does not disrupt the beam at all, uh, the beam pattern. So now you've got this excellent beam pattern that Jeep finally mastered uh, and you can keep your cool Easter egg uh, little shields in there and have excellent light for a reasonable cost and uh, without having to uh, tear out those housings and modify them for uh, the KC or um, there's a few others out there that actually make a headlight conversion kit for it. But uh, these are uh, super bright and this was one of the best upgrades I did. So here we are with the headlights on. This is low beam and they are extremely bright. Uh, as a matter of fact, it took me some time to uh, get them adjusted properly so that oncoming traffic um, wasn't annoyed by them. Uh, they do have a, a distinct upper cutoff and uh, you get them adjusted right and you've got perfect beautiful light and you're not annoying anybody too much. Uh, not any more than super bright LED lights annoy most people. But there they are. And uh, yeah, that was an excellent, excellent upgrade. Okay, you asked, so what about those fog lights? What did you do about those? Well, guess what? Diode Dynamics makes an H3 replacement bulb. They're the same housings. Those are the same. Uh, those are the same uh, buckets that uh, come with it stock. And um, now we have very nice, pretty white LED fog lights for a fraction of the cost of, uh, of uh, changing them out for some of those others. Now, are there brighter ones? Uh, as far as the fog lights are concerned, yes, there are. These aren't uh, terribly bright. They're not as bright as I'd like them to be, but they do work and they do fill in and they are good in the fog. But when things get really foggy, uh, or murky or milky, I just uh, revert to the diode dynamics. SS3 pods. These are the SS3 pros and I'll be doing a review on those uh, separately. But anyway, okay, so that's the front of my Jeep. Uh, some of the upgrades I made. That's a really good looking bumper. Now some of you may disagree, but for me, that was the driving force behind this purchase. They're not cheap. Matter of fact, they're come in as much as, or maybe a little more than an equally, um, an equally styled uh, um, cut fold well bumper with a bull bar or a brush guard. But uh, for me, uh, this was all it took was that uh, it's, it's, uh, it's about the look and uh, about the functionality. And um, as far as durability is concerned, I'm counting that in on that if I ever damage uh, any of those panels, there's only four of them. There are four major panels. There's this one, two of these, and then there's this top panel, and then this bottom skid plate, which is rock solid. Then uh, I will be able to replace those. It'll be just my luck, though, that uh, Rugged Ridge won't sell them individually, but who knows? They might. You know, there's a couple of final thoughts I want to share with you. When it comes to overlanding, Weight is an issue. Uh, payload becomes an issue. Uh, and so, uh, as I'm setting up this uh, rig for overlanding, I'm thinking about weight. Now, this Venator bumper only weighs about 70 pounds. And that's one of the other reasons why I chose this particular bumper. That and the loss of about 20 pounds of steel cable that I replaced with uh, synthetic. Uh, probably saves me you know, 30, 40 pounds over a standard cut fold weld bumper. So that's another thing to consider is uh, weight. And uh, this uh, Venator bumper is uh, certainly lighter than your average cut fold weld bumper. So just to sum things up, um, 
I'd give the uh, uh, S, uh, SV.4 uh, headlight uh, LED replacement bulbs uh, clear 5 uh, as far as the review is concerned. Uh, they, like I said, excellent light and uh, now that uh, Jeep has got that uh, beam pattern nailed down, uh, it's not necessary to swap out the entire light in order to get a good LED light uh, brightness and pattern. As far as the uh, fog lights go, um, well, they are what they are. They're halogen or they're, they're LEDs now. I would rate them a four out of five stars. And then, uh, of course, that uh, Venator bumper. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I've been pleased with that ever since the day I uh, installed it. Well, after I installed it. And like I said, it was a handful to install. There's dozens of pieces and seems like hundreds of nuts and bolts. But uh, if you go through the instruction sheet, uh, it's actually pretty simple. And, um, oh, by the way, uh, if you check out uh, YouTube, uh, you will find one or two um, installation videos on that bumper. That's why I didn't do one. I didn't do an unboxing, any of that stuff. Uh, this has completely been installed. It's been installed for six months now. And um, I'm not going to go back or uh, consider even changing it out. So, five stars for the Rugged Ridge Venator bumper. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, like, subscribe, ask questions. Uh, I'll be happy to answer. Always available. I'm Ted. This is the Black Pearl. And this is uh, Black Pearl Voyager Channel. Thanks for tuning in.